Day. Tomorrow's Halloween. It's gonna be even busier. Yeah, tell me about it. Funny, something really terrible happened today. What? Really bad. What? Really, really bad. Well, just what is it? What? It's really awful. Holly, stop it. Richard called me and canceled for tomorrow night. You had a date cancel? Yep. Well, big deal. I mean, big deal. It's not a big deal. Yes, it is. Well, I'm gonna be home anyway. Why don't you come hang out with me? We'll rent scary movies or something. Well, good. I'm glad you're gonna be home alone. For me, I mean. Yeah. Okay. Just that it's a holiday and I should have a special date. Okay? Holly, it's Halloween, not Christmas. I think you mean Hanukkah? Hanukkah, whatever. Hey, girls, how you doing? Hey, Tom. Hi, Tom. Yeah. How you doing? Pretty good. You going home? Well, I gotta shoot some B-roll. Oh, you hold it? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Bonnie? Hmm. What are you doing tomorrow night for Halloween? You got any plans? Yeah, we got plans. Oh, you do? Okay, maybe some other time. Yeah. Excuse me, people. Hey, Andrew, how's it going? I'm having a really bad day, okay? I'm hey, sorry. Bonnie, Holly, huh? what are you guys dressing up as uh, tomorrow? You know, we got that big Halloween contest. And, You're kidding. Uh, yeah, it's 500 bucks at stake. Oh, yeah, I got a big uh, clown costume, big shoes, everything. You doing that? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. What, 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 what do you mean there's a contest? Didn't you see the memo? No. I think I got one here. Yeah. yeah. 500 bucks, first prize? Yep. Wow. Hello, vacation money, huh? Mm -hmm. What are you gonna wear, Bonnie? Uh, geez, I don't know yet. I haven't planned. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Okay. A clown. <laughs> Tom? Yeah? There's no contest. Where'd you get that memo? Made it myself. <laughs> see you tomorrow morning. <laughs> I wear makeup doesn't mean my clothes have to. Revlon creates Color Stay, the revolutionary new makeup that won't rub off on your collar or on him. Oil free Color Stay makeup sets in 60 seconds, feels comfortable, looks just applied all day or all night. Color Stay, new from Revlon, makeup that won't rub off. Because a woman should always make her mark, but not with her makeup. Revlon. Okay, now don't get Grandma too excited. That's right, the poor deer is probably a bit weak. She has been running on the same Duracell battery since the Ice Age. <laughs> Those Duracell batteries sure do last. You can't top the copper top. Imagine hearing the call of the road, not the road itself. Imagine having the world at your fingertips. Imagine worrying less and enjoying more. Imagine an automobile so precisely engineered it feels as if it were formed from a single piece of steel. Introducing the all-new 1996 Mercury Sable. Imagine yourself in a Mercury. When Dave Thomas created Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich, he used a whole breast filet seasoned with his own blend of pepper and spices, but did he go too far? Cool. <laughs> Apparently not. Try Wendy's Spicy Chicken Sandwich today. She was so beautiful. Do you believe in true love? I accept all that you are and all that you will be. True love, a fragrance from Elizabeth Arden. Your gift with any 3750 true love purchase. John Goodman like you've never seen him before. You need somebody. Could it be you and me, Blanche? Baldwin, Lang, Goodman, A Streetcar Named Desire, Sunday. Tonight on CBS, Picket Fences. Morning, Bon. Morning, Keith. Hey, can I borrow a cup of coffee? Oh, sure, honey. Oh, thanks. Here oh, you go. Thank you. Oh, what's with the hat? Oh, doing some work around the apartment. Oh. Yeah. You know, 95% of all accidents happen around the home. That's right. You I've read that. that. Yeah. What are you doing over there? I'm wallpapering. Oh. Yeah. Hey, is, uh, is that today's paper? Yeah. Oh, thanks, Bon. Here you go. There we go. Thank you. Um, you want some toast? Oh, no, don't worry, please. Already please. made. Whole wheat? Yeah. Uh, no, thanks. Oh. You got white? Yeah. No, thanks. No? How about rye? 
No, I don't have rye. I got some. I'll bring it by. Oh, all right. There you go. Stuff. Here, You're here. right over. All right, honey. Coming. I'm coming, Hal. Oh, stop it. All right. Trick or treat. Hi. I'm dressed as a girl without a date. Oh. <laughs> you want some coffee? Yes, that'd be great. Okay. Thanks. You look oh. cute. Thank you. So do you. Oh, thanks. But listen, what? If you want to go out with Tom tonight, just go ahead. Don't mind me. Holly. What? You already said no for me. I wasn't going to say anything because I thought you'd be upset if I canceled on you. Oh, well, I'm sorry. I'm ruining your whole life. I didn't say you were ruining my life. Just thinking about Tom. You know, he's asked me out a couple times now. I've always been busy, and pretty soon he's going to stop asking. Do you like him that much? I just thought you liked Kirkland, you know. Well, I like Tom in a different way. You know, if I could combine them, then I'd have the perfect guy. <laughs> oh, come on, Inky. Hey, Monty. Thank you. Hey, hey, Holly. How are you? I made eggs, so sit oh, down. Oh, well, eggs. That's uh -huh. great. Mmm, mm. smell good. Here's the bread. Thank you. Hey, Hall. Hi. Ooh. There you go. Hey. You're not gonna eat? No, I had something earlier. Oh. So, you two have any big plans for tonight? No, I did, but now I don't. I'm doing something with Bonnie. Huh. I'm just gonna stay here and hang out. Watch oh. movies. You wanna yeah. come over? No, I gotta work tonight. Oh. Yeah, traditionally, Halloween night is the worst night of the year for limo drivers. Worse than prom night. It's a nightmare. Oh. Really? I think it'd be fun. You know, you're out on the street, you see little kids yeah. trick-or-treating. They're monsters, Bond. Run around the neighborhood in packs. Just waiting for the chance to egg my limo. Oh, oh you laugh. It's awful. No, you used to do that as a kid. Everyone did. Yeah. No, we did not. We had respect for food. <laughs> well, Mom, we gotta go. Oh, all oh. right. We got a morning meeting. Oh. Okay. Well. Hal, hurry up. Let's go. All right. I'm not making you late. I didn't say you're making me late. I'm saying, come on, let's go. I'm standing here waiting for you. You're not standing there waiting. That's I just not come on, let's go. Well, figure your speech. Big deal. Keith, you can stay. Oh, Lock up, all right? All right, I will. Turn this off. Okay, okay you honey? betcha. Okay. Hey, you got Tabasco sauce? Um, yeah, in the fridge. Great. Tomatoes? They're on top of the fridge, hon. I need like a mustard. In the door, in the door, in the door. Okay. <laughs> We're all set here, kids. So we'll squeeze it in if the strike continues, but let's have Kelly do two versions of the Halloween feature piece, a right. two-minute and 90-second version. Sure. Yes, sir. So the 5 o'clock, do you want to tease about the trial or the mayor's mispronunciation ridiculous situation over at the bridge? <laughs> no, no, no. Let's go with the tease on the mayor. That's just damn funny. Yeah. <laughs> Diane, get Andrew up here, see if he can edit the loop of that. He's on his way. That's right. fine. Diane, make sure that Phil's teleprompter has the bridge operator's name spelled phonetically. He said it wrong again last oh. night. Hey, maybe we can run Phil's blooper right after the mayor's. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> <laughs> sir, do you want me to get anything else on Halloween? Any other coverage besides the doctor who loves horror? The guy's a doctor? Yeah. Boy, you find him. I certainly do. Uh, let's see, Kelly. <laughs> I hate you. There's our first prize winner. Help, help, my wallet's stolen. <laughs> Shut up, okay? Both of you. Wiggins, what the hell are you doing? Sir, I was told that there was a contest. I'll go home and change. You're not going anywhere. Oh, it'll only take him a minute in the bad copter. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Come on. Okay, okay, let's focus. Sharon, I want to get a look at that teaser as soon as the boy wonder here finishes oh. the edit. Okay, that's it. <laughs> Joe, cigar. Oh, yeah. Kelly, could you stay, please? Um, yes, sir. Your bagel, sir. Oh, thanks, sir. Kelly, bagel? Oh, well, uh, aren't you on a diet? No, I'm not. No. Oh, well. Thank you. Kelly, as you know, employee reviews are coming up. And I just wanted you to know that the... Your response to you has been very positive. Oh, well, thank you, sir. Take the compliment. You've earned it. The station is very happy, and you know what that means. That the station is very happy? I guess I don't know. <laughs> it means the viewers are happy. Oh, and good. When the viewers are happy, ratings go up, which makes the advertisers happy, which makes the network happy. And that would mean? That would mean I'm a big fan of yours. You all right, Diane? I'm, I'm sorry, sir. I was supposed to remind you to call Jenkins before 10 for the noon spot. Right, I'll do that now. That's all, Kelly. Thank you, sir. Diane. Mm -hmm. Oh, manja. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you mean you. he really fell for this? Yeah, he's running around in green tights. Well, he probably Don't. had a pair lying around. <laughs> I'll give him my best Adam West impression. Yeah, that's it. Oh, watch and learn, yeah. OK? Boy, she's cute, isn't she? Oh, Diane? Yeah, she sure is. No, not Diane, Bonnie. Oh. She's just so, I don't know, clean, I guess, is the word, you know? Yeah. Uh, Diane's more my type, though, you know? Yeah? Sammy, can I get a cup of coffee, please? Holy automatic drip. <laughs> Three sugars, is that right? Yeah. Okay. How are we coming on first prize there, chum? Shut up. Oh. I don't think the Cape Crusader would use that kind of language, Robin. 
Don't make me call Commissioner Gordon. That's enough. To the Batcave, old chum. <laughs> if you like Bonnie so much, ask around. I have, four times. She said no to you four times? Take a hint. No. Oh. She hasn't exactly said no. It's just never been the right time. You know? oh. Either she's busy or, you know, yeah, something. Yeah. I think she's got her eye on Kirkland, too, you know? Oh, it's always like that. You know why? Why? He's too busy. He's aloof. They love that. Yeah. You're being too nice, my friend. You really want to get her interest? Yeah. Be more of a jerk. You think so? Oh, sure. You know, the thing is, I usually am a jerk. You know? It's just that, I don't know, when I'm around her, I just have difficulty maintaining my jerkosity. Oh, yeah. Well, I know how that is. Be more aloof. Huh? Be more aloof. Make the move on something that counts. Yeah. Trust me. I guess so. Hello. Hey, oh. Diane. <laughs> uh, morning, Miss Fulton. Good morning, Sammy. Two coffees, please. Sure. Uh, is that a new suit? You look lovely oh, today. Oh, yes. As a matter of fact, thank you, Sammy. Oh, thank sure. You. you know, I'll bet you make the mannequins jealous. Okay, two coffees to go. Oh, yeah, here you go. Right there. Huh. You see? You see? What's that? She's too busy for me. Oh. That's why I love her. <laughs> see you later, Sammy. Sure. Bonnie Kelly, newsroom. Bye bye. Hmm. Hey, Bonnie. Oh, hi, Tom. How you doing? Fine. Hi, mail. Oh, boy. Thanks, Diane. Well, may I? Yeah, sure, go See? ahead. That stuff's on the read, you know? Yeah, it is. And the answer is Bonnie Kelly. <laughs> See what they say. Uh, I hope it's a good one. To Bonnie Kelly. Dear Ms. Bonnie Kelly, I've been watching you on Channel 12 News, and the way the pieces are shot is magnificent. Your cameraman is obviously the key to your success. I have a feeling he's not only knowledgeable, but extremely handsome. Signed, Susie in Oak Park. Hmm. <laughs> what does it really say? Uh, let's take a look at another one. Why? Well, what? Just... Bonnie Kelly, I've been watching for two. Could lose a few pounds, uh-huh. And your fake smile. Um, Look, it, it's just, you know, one guy's opinion, you know? The no, guy's negative. Forget I do about have it. a I do have a fake smile. No, you don't. Yes, I do. You don't. Thanks, Diane. Mm -hmm. Well, that was a little fake. Uh, yes, that one. Well, what do you expect? Yeah. Listen, Tom. Yeah. Um, you gonna go with me on that remote? Oh, yeah, well, I could do that. Oh, good. Sure, why not? I'll... I'm not assigned to anybody, so that'd be perfect. Well, hmm. that is if I have the time. I don't know. I'm a pretty busy person, Bonnie. Sorry if I'm being aloof, but I just have a lot of things to do around here. Fine, Tom. You okay? I'm okay. Kelly, go see Andrew in the bay. I need a voice oh, from yes, that sir. mayor. Oh, yes, I'll bring that stuff. Oh, oh. I got it, honey. Uh, Kelly. Van Duzer. Yes, sir. The footage on Wacker. Good stuff. Thank you. Oh, uh, Tom. Yeah. You know, you asked me out for tonight, and I said I was doing something. I'm really not doing anything big. I'm just going to be staying at my place with Holly, watching some movies if you want to come over. Well, I made some other plans. Maybe another time, huh? Oh, all right. Fine. See you later, then? Maybe. <laughs> From the makers of rice a another San Francisco treat. <laughs> Pastaroni, a San Francisco treat. Pastaroni, delicious pasta and sauce combination. Pastaroni, a San Francisco treat. Sometimes the road to life can be a bumpy one. That's why there's Corel. Beautiful enough for every meal and durable enough for every day. Beautifully durable Corel, designed for living. This is a deep clean. Something most teeth have never felt. Something you can feel. With Colgate baking soda and peroxide with tartar control. Feel the deep clean of Colgate baking soda, peroxide, and tartar control tingling deep in tiny crevices between teeth and along the gum line. You and your dentist will agree it's a deep clean that's truly monumental. Colgate baking soda and peroxide. Feel the Colgate deep clean. There's a formula out there just waiting to be discovered. A remarkable formula to moisturize your skin. Kerry Silky Smooth Formula. Different from any other Kerry. Lighter, faster absorbing, doesn't feel greasy. And with regular use, Kerry Silky Smooth Formula moisturizes longer than Lubriderm. The formula for soft, healthy looking skin. It's out there, just waiting to be discovered. Kerry Silky Smooth. Discover the formula for sensitive skin too. 
It's Friday night. All alone in our house together. Do you know where your parents are? Oh. Find out. Just cut the zipper. Almost done, sweetheart. All new picket fences next. On Halloween... Folks take ghosts seriously. Is the town really haunted? And you know there's no such thing as ghosts. No, get away from me! A chilling Dr. Quinn. Then... A battle with the devil. There's a whole town out there that's afraid. Calls for special help. I'm an angel. Paul Winfield guest stars on Touched by an Angel, Saturday. Kelly. Yes. Please. Oh, thanks, Diane. My pleasure. Mm -hmm. Diane. Mm -hmm. Why is this letter on a memo? Uh, it's my job to circulate any threatening fan mail. This isn't threatening, insulting, yes, but it's not threatening. Who did you give this to? Security, Joe, of course, Mr. Kirkland. You gave one to Mr. Kirkland? It's for your own protection. In fact, I would expect a little thanks, but... Uh, excuse me, Diane, but you know what? Ever since I started here, you've this been doing... It's gonna take long, because I am having a really bad day. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> hey, Bob, what's going on? Read this. Is this a memo? Yeah, she had it made into a memo. I can't believe she did that. I know, she's insane now. She's just all over me. Tom's acting nuts. She's making me look bad all the time, Helen. She's telling me meetings are at different times and showing up late. Well, then you should confront her. You can't let her get away with this. Can't say anything to her. Let her know I know what she's like, then she'll be even sneakier or more devious. Oh, well, then just forget it. Forget what? Oh, I'm trying to help you, but there's really nothing you can do, I guess. Holly, no, thank you for the help, okay? I'm sorry, I'm just... I don't know. Something's off. I'm just okay. glad we're staying home tonight. Oh, yeah. I called Steve and Mike, and they're both busy tonight, so I'll be over there. What are you calling Steve and Mike for? You looking for a date? Well, yeah. So if you got a date, I'd be home alone? Well, yeah. Holly, they canceled. They can't do anything, so I will be over. Oh, I'm glad I'm your gigantic safety net. You're the safety yes, net? Yes, I am. Bonnie, a date is better than... Okay, just mean... forget it. All right. You know what? I'm gonna go in and tell Kirkland. I swear to God, I'm just gonna tell him what she's like, because I'm sick and tired of it. Definitely, yes. Go in there right now. If you don't do it now, you're never gonna do it. Do it right now. Now? Yes, this is good. Talk to him. Get it out of your system. All right. Go. This is very don't good. Don't push me, I'm not pushing you. Yes, you just are. Go. Stop it. You should just go. Okay, I'm going. Okay. Just don't touch me. I'm All gonna right. walk there. <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> you move away, I he's listen. gonna see you. All right. Don't hide there. <laughs> Here she comes. Diane's what? coming. Fake out. Huh. <laughs> Can I talk to you, sir? What do you need, Kelly? Um, I just need to talk. I won't be long talk. Just a small talk, a little talk. <laughs> baby talk. I mean, I won't be talking baby talk. I'll just have a short talk, chat. Do you have a minute? Okay, sit down. Great. Thank you. Um, sir, this is kind of hard, because I know how close you are to, to Diane, but, uh, I've just been thinking... Bill! 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 What in the hell are you think you're doing? I'm trying to get a hold of my guys, and then I find out that you pulled them to cover the strike. It was my call. I think hey. I'm gonna leave. Hey, now, if you're gonna start pulling rank around oh. here... Don't star me, Joe. You know it's not about that. You know how long I've been working here? Um, I'm sure it's been a very long time. That's exactly right. A hell of a long time. Um, now, you tell him that. It's been working here a very long time. Hell of a long time. Heck of a long time. Hell of a... Hell of a... Look, I don't tell you how to do your job. I don't expect you to tell me how to do mine. Fine, and you let me do mine. Fine. Fine. <laughs> And what was it, Kelly? Sir, it's about Diane. Diane? Yeah. She's a very loyal person. There should be more people like her. Yes, sir, I know that she's good to you. Uh, I mean, you're the boss. I mean, not that she's just good to you because you're the boss. I know that, you know, she's been with you a long time. It's just that, uh, you know, I'm, I'm lower on the totem pole, and I think it's harder for her to be good to me, especially if you've been good to me. I think it just makes her... I, I don't know. Diane does a terrific job. I mean, she comes in early, she stays late. She needs to be needed. Maybe you just don't need her help. No, sir, I do need her help. I mean, you know, she's uh, responsible for a lot of things around here. I just don't think she wants to help me. Well, Kelly, that's not the Diane I know. What is your specific problem with her? I can't be very specific about it, but it's just, uh... I guess it's just me, sir. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to bother you. It's no bother. No, it's okay. Kelly, this is about that fan letter. You know that Diane was concerned about you, don't you? Yes, sir, of course. I appreciate that. Something like that would never change my opinion of your work here. Well, thank you. Go edit the Halloween thing, so. Kelly, mm -hmm. say hi to the Cape Crusader for me. Oh, I will. I'll tell him that. Thank you, sir. Oh.
This is the uh, living room, or, or death room, actually. Mm -hmm. Sort of a gallery of horrors, you can say. And this just isn't for Halloween. This is how it is. Oh, this is, oh, yeah, this is how it is all year round. You know, I noticed downstairs when we got here on your, your doorbell, it says, it says Dr. Kaufman. Are yes. you a doctor of horror? Or? Well, I, no, I'm a doctor of ophthalmology. What are you doing? Oh, no, these are uh, some of my favorite um, uh, creatures, we should say. This is another friend of ours. Oh. Mothra, yeah, you don't want to get uh, too much of Mothra. These are called motionettes. They do a few, few things. It's one of my favorite noises, and I can actually, uh, I can actually imitate that noise, and my wife well, always could, likes me to imitate that noise. Can you, t can you turn it off, mm -hmm. yeah, and then sure. let me hear you do it? When I was 10 years old, uh, they were, you know, this would cost $20. Now this costs about $2,000. Um, they're, they're now considered, you know, collectibles. They become much $2,000 for one poster. For a poster of, mm -hmm. from Revenge of the Creature of that size, it would cost you $2,000. And how much do you charge for an eye exam? About $50. What's your favorite horror movie? The original Mummy with Boris Karloff. A very romantic horror movie. Oh, sorry. I got the monster spitting. Which one is this? Can you wear this head? Actually, yes. This is this is made uh, this is made from the mold of the original of the, of the 1991 style Godzilla costume. And oh wait, you got Dean and Jerry over oh, here. Oh yeah, Dean and Jerry. That's now, how right. do you go from horror movies to Dean and Jerry? Godzilla and those guys, as well as Dean Martin, Jerry Lewis, they're all survivors. They all will never change, and they all Godzilla's still around making movies. The Creature from the Black Lagoon is still as popular as ever. And, um, I pa patterned my life after Dean's a little bit. He's been an inspiration to me. But Dean's a singer. I got my trouble and woe. Sure as I know that the Jordan will roll I'll get along long as the song Strong in my soul I'll never know what makes So what do you think? I'm not talking to you. Andrew, please, I'm already having a bad day. You're having a bad day. I'm Robin. <laughs> You were in on this little joke. No, I wasn't. I had nothing to do with it. It's Halloween. You look very cute. Cute. Yeah. You don't have to leave the gloves on. You're just making it worse for yourself. Well, if I'm going to roam through the halls, I'm going to commit. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> what is that? Snack. Snack? Well, it's one of those diet shakes. A diet shake? You're on a diet? Well, yeah, I just started one. It's Halloween. Well, if I can get through today, I can get through anything. You know, I'm lucky. I can eat just about anything, and I can never gain a pound. Is that right? Yeah, I've got the metabolism of a hummingbird. It's good to know. Hey, Bob, mm. what happened with Kirkland? Holly, why would you say that in front of Andrew? Yeah, what did happen with Kirkland? No, see, nothing. Nothing happened. Something happened. Nothing happened. OK, nothing happened. I'm sorry, Bonnie. I forgot he was Andrew with that costume on. Oh, very on. funny. I just didn't yeah. even recognize him, really. Gosh. You want me to pick up the movies for tonight? Yes, that'd be great. All right, I'll get them. We'll talk about it. OK. Don't give me that fake smile. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hey. hey, Tom. Sorry. Oh, hey, Tom. Want to join us? Just hanging out. No. I got to go. That was weird. That letter's driving me nuts, you know what I'm thinking? Is that Tom? Yeah. Anyway, I got... <laughs> what? What is wrong with him? I don't know. Normally, Tom's my calm in the storm, and he wouldn't even talk to me today. I thought you were getting scary movies. Well, I wanted to be in a good mood, so I just got some Doris Day stuff. <laughs> well, that is kind of scary. Oh, stop it. I love Jiffy Pop. You know what it reminds me of? What? k -Tel Record Selector. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Remember, you just take one record, and then da 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 <laughs> Oh, God. This is a great one. Tom loves these old movies. He told me that once. Oh, yeah? Mm-hmm. When he was talking to me. Would you just call him and ask him what's wrong? What are you, nuts? I'm not going to call a guy. What? No, a guy calls a girl, Holly. Don't you know that? That's just a common sense rule. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Well, if the guy calls a girl, she knows that he's talking to her because he wants to. He's made a conscious effort to pick up the phone and dial. If I call him, I don't know if he's talking because he wants to or just because he's stuck because he answered the phone. And I'll be blabbing away going, oh, yeah. <laughs> 
You gotta stop watching these movies. <laughs> Very Something funny. What's happening to you? Teacher's pet. Did you ever see this? No. Clark Gable, Doris Day. Clark Gable reminds me of Kirkland. I can't believe Kirkland doesn't have a clue how Diane treats you. Yeah, I know. Well, he just knows a different version of her. Well, of course, she treats him differently than she treats you. Well, nothing I can do about it. I went in there and thought I'd just tell him the truth, and he thinks I'm a big complainer. You know, he must know. I mean, maybe he's just afraid to admit that he hired someone that could fool him like that, you know, or he's just blind to it. I don't know. Who knows? Want to know something? Huh? I think he called me honey today. Who? Kirkland. Are you sure he didn't say Holly? <laughs> No, he didn't say Holly. So I'm I didn't even think I heard it, but then my heart was pounding so hard, I figured that must have said honey. Wow. It was really exciting. Oh. <laughs> want to order? Yeah. Italian? Italian spot. Topo Gigio? Topo Gigio. Right. What do you want? I just want a salad. I'm on a diet. Oh, would you forget that stupid letter? No. What are you get? Um, maybe I should just share your salad. Caesar's? Yeah. Okay. No, chopped. Okay, why don't we get chopped in a season? We'll have a little of each, and then we'll put it away. Great, 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 great. Should we get a little pasta just for something? <laughs> All right, uh, spaghetti and tomatoes? Ravioli? We'll get both, and then we'll just take a little, great, great, put great, it great, away. Great, great. <laughs> you know what? We better get a dessert just in case. Yeah, just in case. All right, che cheesecake? Cheesecake. Oh, perfect. All right. <laughs> what? I like chocolate cake. Don't get upset. We'll get chocolate cake and cheesecake. We'll get a few, we'll have a little bite, great, and great, put it great, away. Great, great, great. <laughs> Can I get it? Yeah, go ahead. Hello? Oh, hi, Tom. Yeah, she's right here. Hold on. What? Okay, bye. <laughs> it's Tom? Yes. What'd he say? He said he had another call, and he'll just talk to you later. Maybe. 